In this video, I will show you how you can automatically schedule your post on Instagram directly from the Google Sheets. Now, where this automation is useful. So, assume that you are going on a vacation where you cannot use social media. In that case, you can line up all your posts into the spreadsheet along with the media URL and you can also specify the date of the post. And on your behalf, in your absence, our automation will automatically share these posts on the specific date on Instagram automatically. Yes, it is possible. And the second benefit of this automation is that, let's say you want that your team member should handle all your social media sharing, but at the same time, you do not want to share the access of your Instagram profile with them. In that case, you can ask them to schedule all the posts into this spreadsheet. And again, things will be posted automatically directly from this Google Sheet on Instagram. Now you must be thinking that how this automation is possible. So basically I'll have to build a connection in this spreadsheet and Instagram and I'm going to connect these two with the Pabbly Connect. It is an integration and automation software and here you can see I am already logged in in this software. You can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now once you will reach to that dashboard click on this blue button firstly that is create workflow and firstly provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided the name as basically i have pasted the name as schedule post in instagram from google sheets now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action so here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and according to our use case whenever any new data is added in google sheets application then automatically share that post in Instagram application okay but in this particular case instead of selecting Google Sheets here I'm going to select the feature of Pabbly Connect that is scheduled because I want that the whole automations should be scheduled automatically okay so as the first step I have selected this schedule and here you can see it is asking that how often you want to run your workflow so I want that this automation should execute should run on the daily basis and and on that specific date, the post should be shared automatically. So that is why here I will be selecting this every day. And here you will have to specify the timing as well. Okay, so how about I select the timing as 9 a.m. or I can say 10 a.m. in the morning. All right, so I have selected 10 a.m. in the morning. This is the timing. So now I will click on the save button and you will see how this automation will be scheduled for every day that is on for this specific time. Now every day, on this particular time what should happen what should be the next step this automation should perform so basically firstly it should check that what is the today's date and based on that date it should check that what posts are actually scheduled for this specific date okay so how i am going to first fetch the today's date so again i will select the date and time formatter which is an amazing feature of pabbly connect via which you can perform various kind of operations within in your workflow okay in this case i will select this current date because firstly i would like to fetch the current date basically today's date and here i'll have to specify the format so i will be specifying the format in this way only so that i can match it so that when i will search for this current date in this spreadsheet it will be easier to match it okay so this particular date is actually in the format of ddmmyy so let us select the same format that is ddmmyy okay i do not want to include any time into this response so i will keep it as false only simply click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that it will automatically give you the current date if i will show you here you can see it is actually second may only and it has provided me the date of second may only now i'm going to search this specific date into this spreadsheet okay and here you can see there are total three posts has been scheduled for this specific date so when i will search for this date you will see 
Pabli Connect will fetch out these three posts. Okay, so how I can do that? Click on this plus icon first, and then you will have to search for the Google Sheets application. And from this spreadsheet, I am going to look for a specific value. Okay, so that is why I will be searching for this lookup spreadsheet row action. Okay, and here what value I am going to looking for? So basically, I am going to looking for this current date that is of second May. Okay, simply click on connect, then click on add new connection, and then you will have to provide the access of your Google Sheets account. All right. Well, I have already provided this access earlier, so I will go with the existing connection. If you want, you can also go with the existing connection. But in the first time, you will always have to go with the new connection only, and you will have to provide the access of your sheet. And here you can see my sheet is connected, and whatever the spreadsheets I. have created inside my google sheets have started visible here but this time in this case i will select the schedule post for instagram so basically here i am specifying that the lookup should be done into this specific spreadsheet i'm sorry for that into this specific spreadsheet that is schedule post for instagram now it is asking to select the sheet and here you can see i have a single sheet only which has got selected automatically now it is asking that in which particular column you would like to look up for the value okay so here i would like to look up for the a column basically i am going to search for the date in a column so that is why i will add a here manually now it is asking for the look up value so here i would like to search for the current date which i have already captured into my previous step well i don't need to manually copy this date and paste it here i am going to map this date okay so mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down now open the drop down and here i have mapped my date now what is the importance of mapping so whatever the details we will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so when this automation will work in the next time what will happen the new date will be fetched out from this current date feature and this new date will be replaced here automatically and this is how that new date will be searched in this particular column all right so this is how this automation is going to take place with the help of mapping and at the same time mapping plays a major role inside this automation now i want the data of header also so that is why i will keep it as true only and i am clicking on this button save and send test request and you will notice that pabli connect will instantly give me the details of all the posts which are actually mentioned on the 2nd of may okay so let me show you the details here so here we have the first post that is a 50% discount on burgers here we have the date and here we have the media url let me even show you that this is the date 50% discount on burgers and here we have the image if i will show you the image okay so this is the image of the burger okay and if i will show you this link from here basically from the pabli connect dashboard you will notice that it is the same image now let me show you the data of the second post that is book your dream home now and here we have the same image basically the different image okay so this is the post second number post that is book your dream now and here we have the image url and the third post which is actually scheduled for the second may that is punctuality is the thief of time and here we have the same details okay so this is how uh, we can say that the connection in between our google sheets and pabli connect is working absolutely fine now in order to execute this automation in real time i cannot actually post this data all together basically i want that this should data should come in a queue basically it should come one by one but currently i have the data all together currently i have the data of three post in total but i want that the data of one post should be arrived so how i am going to do that okay so firstly you will have to capture the same response into the advanced format
format how you can do that simply disable this toggle button this is how you can enable the advanced response okay and now click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that the same response firstly will be received into the array format here you can see i have the data into the array format and it is the same data you will notice that here we have the date here we have the text basically the caption and here we have the image url and after that curly brace you will notice that the data of the second uh, caption basically the second post and after this third curly braces you will notice the data of the third post okay so we have captured the data into the array format and now i can easily make this data execute one by one with the help of iterator feature okay so simply click on this plus icon and search for the iterator feature well again iterator is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can execute your data one at a time asking to select the array well here you can see from this drop down it has automatically taken that array basically this response result this response result is is the same result okay this is the array which has mapped automatically now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will know notice that it will provide me the data of single post at a time and this is how this automation is going to take place basically one at a time i will receive the data and this is how the post will be shared automatically now moving further the last step of this automation is that i am going to schedule basically i am going to post this data on instagram so that is why i will be selecting instagram here okay make sure that you select this instagram for business inside pabli connect dashboard and in this action event i will select this publish a photo okay simply click on connect and just like we have built the connection in google sheets and pabli connect now i am going to build this connection in instagram and pabli connect and again you will have to provide the access of your instagram account basically the facebook account well i am already logged in into my different app so that is why instead of asking me the access access it has already taken it has taken automatically the access and here you can see my instagram account is connected with the pabli connect now it is showing me the account the same account that is the account of joe okay it is the same account account of joe here Here you can see and coming back to pabli connect dashboard and now it is asking that what will be the photo url and what will be the caption which i would like to post on instagram and here you will have to read these instructions that when you will provide the photo url it has to be either of jpg gif png ico or bmp and here you can also read that the maximum image size should be 8 mb only okay now from where i am going to provide this photo url and caption so remember we have just captured this data into our previous response okay here you can see firstly we have captured the same data into the array format and then we have processed this data one at a time so basically i am going to map this data here and as i have told you mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay i will be mapping the photo url from this last step step basically from this iterator step okay so where is the image url all right so this is the media url which i have mapped and here you can notice it is actually into the bng format only now it is asking for the caption so again i will be mapping the caption from the above data only that is 50% discount on burgers now i will click on this button save and send test request and i am really expecting this data this post to be shared automatically on instagram and here you can see it is saying that the aspect ratio is not supported okay so i think there there is an issue in my image so i'll have to change it so what if i change this url at the moment so that i can at least to show you how things can be shared okay so what if i copy this image url here manually okay and then we will see whether our instagram our pabli connect is actually posting the post automatically on instagram or not okay so i am clicking on this button once again and let us wait fingers crossed whether the post is getting scheduled getting posted on instagram or not 
and here you can see the response is received and this time we have received the positive response so i will go back to my instagram profile and then i am going to refresh my instagram profile and i am really expecting that the same image along with the same caption which i have mentioned into my google spreadsheet should be posted automatically and here you can see it is done if i will open this post here you can see 50% discount on burgers and here we have the same image okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to schedule any data into your spreadsheet along with the specific date the post caption and the media url the things will be posted automatically on instagram you do not have to do anything manually now you can schedule po your post into your spreadsheet in advance and then you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just make sure that you provide the perfect size of the image which is mentioned here let me show you this once again here it is clearly mentioned that the aspect ratio falls within a 4 is to 5 range all right and the image size should not be exceeded to 8 mb okay so if you will follow this guidelines you will not receive the error just like me and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box okay so you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pably connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pably Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pably Connect and for the latest updates of Pably Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals If you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video